Hello everybody! This is a little video that will hopefully be nice and short that is going to give you some information to help you with this lesson. So this is looking at one of our lifestyle factors that can have an impact on health and it is looking at smoking. I'm going to talk you through bits of the PowerPoint slides. I should say this is exactly the same as the copy that you have to work on. So if you need to look at it in more detail or pause the video, please feel free. If you are able to do this successfully today, you will be working on level four because you'll be contributing to a discussion on the extent to which people's needs should be met by the state or individual. That is a very big statement. Basically, what that means is as we look at lifestyle factors, you need to form your own opinion. Remember, you're allowed your own opinion on whether it is right that they get benefits or they get their care on the NHS because they've made a choice. Some of you will say yes, some of you will say no, and that's okay, but that means you're working on level four. If you're watching this, you have successfully found the video link. Your starter here should be quite simple and straightforward. There are two clips there, one that shows you the impact of smoking a pack of cigarettes in a day, and one that shows you roughly the same amount that they think if it was vaping instead. I don't know what flavour it is before you ask if it's candy floss or rhubarb or whatever. All I want you to do here is watch the videos and write at least two sentences describing the difference you see. What is that difference? Why is it maybe different? Is one better than the other or are they both terrible? You'll then see some information about the effects of smoking. Now, I'm sure you will have done this in PSC or in primary schools, so I'm not going to talk you through this like you don't know it but obviously smoking has an impact on pretty much every part of your body. How does this link to our success criteria and our outcomes? Well is it fair that if you choose to smoke and you then develop a disease as a result of smoking that you get the same NHS care as someone who never smoked a day in their life with the same disease? That is a question for you. What percentage of Scotland currently smokes? We think it's about 15% of the total population, although we can't be certain because obviously not everybody would admit to smoking. More men are likely to smoke, which might surprise some of you. 17% uh, of men smoke compared to 13% of women. The reason I say this is surprising is because quite often in the teenage years, girls are more likely to start smoking younger, but may give up as they get older, whereas boys, are less likely to start smoking, but will maybe pick it up as they get older. Everyone's different. You then see some facts at the bottom of that screen. It talks about the least deprived. So remember, when we're saying the least deprived, that means those that are least poor, okay? So it actually means the richest, the wealthiest. So out of the social classes and people who are really well off, have money, nice houses, nice cars, only about 10% of those people smoke. However, the most deprived fifth of Scotland, so that's the people that are really poor, really in poverty, really struggling, 36% of them smoke. Now that works out at just over one third of that group. So one third of the poorest people in Scotland smoke compared to just 10% of the richest group in Scotland. And the average smoker spends £1,600 every year on cigarette products, £1,600. So, I know you're going to groan. I can almost hear the groans coming through my computer at this, but it's a little bit of numeracy for you. Please don't worry if this is a weak point. I just want you to have a go at working out. I've just told you, okay, that an average cost is £1,600 every year, but obviously some people smoke a lot more and some a lot less. So I would like you to try and work out what a 20 a day smoker spends every week, every month, and we're using four weeks there, and then every year. I've also told you that a packet of 20 costs you £10.40, okay? So you smoke 20 a day, how many days are in a week? How many, well, you, if you figure out the week, you just times up by four to get your month, and then every year, okay? There are 52 weeks in a year, if that helps you. Should only take you five minutes, and this orange box here is where we'd like you to write your answers. Anytime for S3 Modern you see an orange box like this, that is where you type your answers on your copy of the PowerPoint slides. Okay, hopefully you paused that. If you haven't, pause it, go back, go back, pause the video. 
and have a go at that task. Now that you've come back from pausing it, I want you to look at that cost. Look at that amount of money. What do you think smokers could be spending this on instead? If you're not sure, what might you spend it on? Cars, holiday, fancy food. What would it be for you? That's a personal opinion, this one. Okay, we're now looking at the cost of smoking, but we don't always mean money. There are some facts here that will tell you just how significant uh, smoking is, particularly for our NHS, our National Health Service. We know that smoking alone basically costs us over 9,000 people a year, okay? So 9,000 deaths per year due to smoking or a disease that is linked and been proven to be linked to smoking. People who smoke and activities to try and get them to stop smoking costs our NHS about 5% of its total budget every year. That's about £500 million. So that would give us 22,000 nurses, as in for a year that would pay for 22,000 nurses for one year. That is a staggering amount. There's some facts here that you can have a look at as well. So we know that one in four deaths in Scotland, it's caused by smoking. And we know that roughly every 10 minutes, someone in Scotland has to go to hospital because of something linked to smoking. By the way, you can pause and look through these further. I'm just taking you through bits to help you out with your tasks for this week. Now you're going to do a task with this graph. Please don't panic. What I would say is only look maybe at 2017 here and 2009 here. All I want you to do is look at the top line, the lightest. This line is talking about the poorest people in Scotland, okay? The poorest group, the poorest one-fifth of people. The black, dark, dark blue line, kind of coloured at the bottom, is the least deprived. So that means this is their poorest group up the top. This is our richest group. So this dark line here is our richest group. Have a look at 2009 versus 2017 for those two groups. Pause the video if you need. I'm going to move on. The graph shows us the deaths by smoking per 100,000 people. That means if you were to line up 100,000 people in Scotland, how many of those would die as a result of smoking or smoking related illnesses. That means you really want that number to be low. If we go back to the graph just now, which I'm gonna do, you will see that in the most deprived, almost, almost 600 people per 100,000 die because of smoking, compared to under 200 in the richest, okay? Again, pause to take a look at that further. I would like you to make a conclusion about this graph of your choice. So go back and replay part of the video. If you're working on level three in modern, you should be able to make a conclusion. Tell me what you see. If you're level four, I'd like you to make a conclusion and tell me how you know that. Give me the evidence from the graph. So is it that it has increased, it has decreased? Which group is more likely to die from smoking? Which group is least likely to die? Any of those would be a conclusion. So pause the video. That should take you no more than 10 minutes to do. Some of you will do that within five minutes or less, but I wouldn't spend more than 10 minutes. If you're getting stuck, move on. And finally today, I'm gonna to give you a task that involves you splitting up some things into either individual responsibilities and consequences or society. This again should take you no more than 10 minutes to do really. It's quite simple when you see the slide. All I'll say here is if you're level three, all I want you to do is shift the items. You can copy them over or you can just type them into the box. You just need to put them into the column you think it belongs in. If you're a level four, you're going to do that. You're gonna sort them into, oh, that harms only an individual, but that harms society or a big group of people. Then I would like you to pick one up from each side and explain it explain why it's a problem. An individual problem is one that is going to affect someone directly. So for example, an individual problem for a smoker might be what? That they spend lots of money, okay? They lose their income. So if I was a smoker, 
I not. If I was a smoker, an individual consequence would be I lose money because I'm spending it on cigarettes. However, a problem for society might be someone who gets lung problems because of smoking and they need NHS treatment. Why is that a society problem? Well, if they need NHS treatment, who's paying for that? That comes from the taxpayer. So what you'll see on the next slide are two boxes, one for individual problems, things that are only going to affect that person. Have they lost all their teeth? Have they got bad breath? Um, you can add some of your own in here as well, but you will have been successful as long as you've got all of these in. Society problems. It affects lots of people. Are lots of people going to have to pay more tax? Are lots of people going to suffer or miss out on something? So have a look. You will probably have more in one column than the other. Level three, if you've done that, you can please do challenge yourself and have a go at this. However, this is the level four challenge where I would like you to pick one individual problem. So pick one of your answers from the individual column one from the society column, and I want you to tell me why. Explain to me why you think that is an individual problem, why you think it's a problem for society or a group. Well done, guys. Today, if you can tick off all of these things and you have been successful in your modern studies for today, because we are looking at the impact smoking has on individuals and on society as well. Thank you very much for today, folks. Look after yourselves this week and we'll see you soon.